everybody. Once again, you join me on the Zero SRF electric motorcycle that English Electric Motorcycle Company has lent me for a couple of weeks to do a review and some videos on. So check out my channel to see more of those. But today we're going to talk about the sound of silence. Well, let's get going because it's more fun. Of course, one of the things that's said about electric motorcycles a lot is that they are dangerous because they are quiet. Um, and now that I've ridden quite a few electrics, large ones, small ones, noisy, noisier ones, less noisy ones, and I've also ridden a vast amount of different motorcycles from small ones, big ones, loud ones, not loud ones, you know, I think I'm pretty experienced in this by this point that I'm starting to draw some conclusions. And I'm also in a complete conflict in my own brain. So let's just talk about it. So electric bikes, are they dangerous because they are quiet? No. Uh, for a few reasons. When you're above 30 miles an hour-ish, there is quite a lot of tyre roar and people do hear you coming. I have noticed that. I mean, let's face it, if you, and I've tested this with people, listen to cars driving past you um, on certain roads and you tell me whether you're hearing an engine or whether you're hearing tyre roar. Most of the time, it's tyre roar. Where you do need to pay extra attention, however, is in town and below those speeds. Because at speeds like this, you know, sort of 20 miles an hour, well, actually the bike is making a whine that you can, I can hear, and I think someone over there would hear, but it's not that loud. Uh, so pedestrians are the ones you have to really watch out for, and it is the, the rider of the bike is the one that has to do this. When you're riding in town, you just have to imagine that no one can hear you. Oh, that's actually quite easy because no one can, because they've all got headphones in. I have been riding my 600cc petrol inline 4 XJ6 with quite a short loud exhaust on it with no baffle and still had people walk straight out in front of me like I wasn't there uh, because they're wearing headphones or they're not paying attention. Uh, that's, you know, part of the other problem is it does it matter if they can hear you or not? A lot of uh, pedestrians seem to be incapable of crossing roads safely by actually using their eyes. Um, the Eufy system would apply for you too, if you don't know what I'm talking about. I'll, I'll link it at the end of the video. Or here, actually, on this card. Helps car drivers as well. So as I say, if electrics make enough noise that you can hear them over 30 miles an hour, and below that you just have to be a bit more careful, what difference does it make? I mean, yes, okay, people are going to be no more noticing of a very loud petrol bike, uh, but that's only if you have a loud exhaust. The way the exhausts are now with like the Euro 5 bikes, if the exhaust is pointing that way and it's, you know, you've got a bit of town noise going on, I really don't think you're going to notice, or the pedestrians will notice, the sound of the petrol bike, particularly over everything else. Whereas if you have a very loud exhaust, they may very well hear it and be able to pinpoint it out because what the hell is that noise that I can hear over my whoever is playing in their ears? So, yes, I do think electrics are a little bit more dangerous because they're not making any noise in town and city. Um, but it's down to the rider to know that and ride accordingly for it. And I haven't had any major problems for it. The only fun things really I've had is like seeing that someone is going to walk out on you or doesn't hear you walking up behind them, slowing right down and then slowly passing them. And then they're like, because they just didn't know you were going to be there. And I've had those instances on petrol bikes as well. So... I think it's pretty even if the rider accounts for it. That's what I think the point is here. It's not enough of a difference that the rider can't account for it. So then that would also mean that I would disagree with loud pipes saves lives, right? But I don't, because I prefer to have a loud exhaust on my bike for some of the reasons I mentioned earlier, uh, because I like people to know I'm there. But and this is the thing. You can say, well, I know someone knows I'm there, but with you know, the, the modern cars and the sound deadening they have in them. Of course, I think the person will know you're in the area, but they may not know exactly where you are. And that's the thing that helps is when they know exactly where you are. The only time I would honestly say that loud pipes saves lives is when you're filtering. And I can say that I've ridden onto this island. <laughs> There's a lot of bikes coming on. Um, I've ridden onto this island a lot of times. And I've done it on big bikes, small bikes, loud bikes, quiet bikes. Uh, because the wear of you bikes, I always do them on the same sort of roads, which does make it repetitive, but I can really make comparisons. Um, and on 125s and things like that, that aren't very loud, when I'm filtering onto the island, because the traffic gets that bad, people don't move out my way. People don't know I'm there. I'm watching them in their mirror and they can't see me. They're not aware I'm there. 
if I do it on my XJ6 or my DRZ or one of the other louder bikes that I've had on loan, I do get people pulling aside and letting me through because generally they hear you coming and then they look and then they're like, oh, there's a bike there. That's normally the point that instigates them moving aside. So it's fantastic because not only do they see you and know you're there, they also move out of your way. So in that one scenario, I do think loud pipes saves lives. And I think it's defensible that it does because I've, I've experienced it I've, I've, a lot. So I guess my point is, if you have an exhaust, it might as well be a loud one so people can hear you better. And if you haven't, we'll ride accordingly. I would actually say that if you're on a bike with a Euro 5 exhaust, you know, a small CC Euro 5 exhaust engine, when you consider the fact that people have got headphones in and people have sound deadening in their cars, which is really good these days, I would honestly say that you should be as careful as someone on an electric at this point. The only benefit that you have is that a pedestrian might, might hear you coming more than on this at those much slower speeds. But then it's not like you can go, oh, well, they can hear me coming, so I can just go. You have to be careful and keep an eye on them anyway and react accordingly to what they're doing to be safe. So then again, it doesn't make much difference. But if you can get someone's attention by having a loud exhaust, then that, that in fact, no, it doesn't really contradict, does it? I thought it contradicted, but it doesn't really. It kind of does work together. Now, there is one question that remains to be seen, and I don't know what the answer to this is going to be, which is, okay, fine. In the current setting where you have the odd electric bike, it's not a problem. What's it going to be like when everyone's got electric bikes and cars? I don't know how that's going to be en masse, because my honest opinion of the uh, ability of drivers in this country has, it has been falling significantly, and COVID killed the indication. Um, it just annihilated any remnant of people indicating where I live. And in motorway situations like this, I think it makes zero, zero difference. Okay, this definitely wasn't filmed at the end of the video and wedged in now because I totally forgot to mention it and it's really important. Uh, <laughs> much. The enjoyment of riding a motorcycle when it has the sound of a petrol engine. Do I miss that on an electric? Yes and no. Why is that? Yes, I do miss it because I absolutely love the sound of a bike with a good exhaust on it. You know, my DRZ 400 SM, single cylinder, brappish, really nice sounding bike, absolutely love it. My XJ6, inline four, screamy, screamy bike, really goads you to go along. I love it, I absolutely love it. So do I miss that on an electric bike? I do, yes, but you also have a new experience on an electric, which is you don't have that noise in your ears all the time. And as much as I do like it, it's interesting to experience bikes without it. And there's so many more noises and so many more things that you hear because you don't have your engine. You know, I can hear all the traffic around me much better. I can hear cars right next to me much better, which makes me safer. So in ways, not having a loud exhaust can make you safer because you can hear what's going on around you rather than it being droned out by the sound of your own exhaust. You know, I love cruising through a country road on a nice sunny day with a good soundtrack of an engine, just riding and enjoying the sound of that bike. That is pure heaven for some people, and it is for me. But as I say, when you do it on an electric, I'm not saying it's better. What I'm saying is when you do it on an electric, it's different. And it's different because you get a new set of sounds. As I say, like in the city, in, in, in the countryside you get a whole new set of sounds you get the sound of the tires you get the sound i know that sounds silly but you get to really hear and feel the road a lot more you feel the road a lot more in an electric because um the engine doesn't vibrate but that's not for this video we're talking about loudness here and when you gun an electric you do get some very crazy cool like star wars sounding sounds out of the motor and yeah sure it's not the same tuned you know note that we're all used to but it is something different i don't i don't i say i don't feel like it's like riding this is like riding riding a petrol but without the sound it's riding it it's different it's just different oh i am aware i have just opened up a can of worms an industrial size can of worms on this one because I've, t I've talked about a lot of subjects that always open up cans of worms and compared them with electrics, which also open a lot of 
cans, worms. It's a very wormy sort of situation. Uh, but if we could keep it civil in the comments and have a reasonable discussion, we might actually be able to let me in. Thank you, sir. Thank you, my man. I will give you a thumbs up, even though I don't need to. I'd like it to be a healthy conversation and we can learn stuff from it because it's taken me a long time of riding these machines and riding different machines and analysing and thinking about it before I start to come to these conclusions and realise that a lot of what people are saying is complete codswallop because they've never ridden one and they've just assumed everything and they're parroting other things people have said. That's why there's these stereotypes that you come up against every time I talk about electrics. And some people now who've been watching my channel a long time are going, oh spicy, oh no, you've found your new Chinese motorcycles, haven't you? I said time would prove me right with that one and it did, and I think it will too with electrics. Not necessarily that it's gonna be the future, but they are a thing, they are here, they're not going anywhere, and they're bloody awesome.